And I believe this is the last game in my recent order that I did. And it is another two-player game. But I have been interested in this one for a while. And when I caught it on sale, while they were running a sale of other games that I was interested in, I said, yeah, I got to get it. Oh, it's nice. It's it's a sturdy box, and it's got a nice picture, and it's it feels good. It's uh, It's not too flimsy. Let's see. Looks like the cards have a starter here. And it ripped before it... There we go. All right. That stuck to my finger. Cards. Not bad. A little thin. And they've got the black edges on both sides. I'm not a fan of that. You guys know that. Let's see here. So we've got gold-backed. These are like quests or objectives you try to do and they're worth victory points and we have silver and bronze and then here different temples different map layouts uh objectives so yeah i'm not really i don't i have to play it to see how much you would shuffle it but still i'm I don't think I'll need to uh, sleeve these, but that is a little, little uh, small pet peeve there. Instruction manual. Looks like it's very colorful, step by step. So it looks, just from a quick glance, it looks well laid out, and it has gold cards here with an appendix at the back. Always nice when that is easily accessible even if it's not on an a card that you can hand out to each player but it's a two-player game so i mean you you know it's not a big deal all right each of these are individually baggied that's pretty cool gave me extra baggies for the towels and such i guess so you have these little boats now these feel great these are those are nice feeling really are these are some of the good cubes and such and they fit right in there if they don't stick to my finger you can get three of them in your ship now those cubes are tiny they are a little fiddly but that's still pretty cool and it's just satisfying to be able to do that for shipping those this is a two-player route building game those little cubes are just regular little wooden cubes nothing special these are nice and chunky little wood temples I like those they feel good they look good they got a little heft to them so you have some white player ones and blue player ones here is the like the market of what stuff is valued at here oh here's a couple little player aids right here nice one for each player. And, yep. Rest of the box is punch board tiles. So you have this neat little uh, black and white map drawing of islands because you are discovering islands, creating lands, and then creating routes to trade on those lands. So I'll get those punched out in a moment. But let's look at some of these. Nice quality. Seems to punch out pretty easy. Let me try it from the other side. Yep, coins. Those are tiny. They are small. I mean, that's, that's a bit sad, but it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. So let's get that punched out and see what some of this looks like. Everything seemed to punch out nice and clean. This is the uh, starting position, starting board, and as you see, you will create small islands with routes, different shipping routes. Those would be temples. So these are nice quality. Plain ocean on the back, and there's your starting tile. 
So I took all the uh, components out of this bag, and I'm just going to use this one bag, save those other two for now. And I should be able to get those in there easily. And let me show you what else I did. In the future, I may have to put some sort of little divider, insert, build something. I'm not sure. But for now, this will work. Got those three stacked up the same. And let's put those there. I took each boat and put them in the bag with the corresponding temple colors. Let's see if I can get those kind of down in there below these tiles. This seems to work. Then I put all of the goods into one bag. And, yeah, it didn't want to work great, but... I think it'll work. Then, in the other bag, I put all the coins and such like that. And it's not perfect. But I think that everything may fit. Let me just rearrange a little bit. Show that there. That there. There we go. Now I have these extra bags that I can use for something else. And the this board should just sit on top of there. No problem. Then these player boards, and then the instruction manual. And so you've got plenty of room. It's a little loose in there, but and stuff will slide around, but it's not horrible. And it is a nice box. It is a small box. It is a small box game, two-player, but looks really good, except for those tiny coins and then the black border cards. But everything else looks great. So just thought I would share with you so that you could see what you get for what you pay.